Falcone. Are you Ronald Falcone? Yes, correct. Okay. You have some tickets that go back to last year. Tickets? Yeah. Let me go through uh, this. Let me yeah, go I'm through this by the numbers, okay? Yeah, sure. There's a car registered to Pamela Falcone. Correct. That's, is that your wife? Yes. I mean, you drive the car or no. she drives it? Uh, neither one of us do. It's, uh, we have two children. Oh. I never, I've never heard that excuse before. <laughs> well, one of your children allegedly parked on the sidewalk, and okay. the other children, a child allegedly went through a red light on Allen's Avenue and Terminal Street. Yeah, I have we that have, one. Yeah, that's the one I was... We have a video. We're going to show you the video. Okay. What did your ch child tell you about the red light? Well, I, I uh, informed her that we got this invitation in the mail, no, and uh, no. I showed it to her, and she said, I don't recall that. I said, okay, well, it's right here in black and white. Uh -huh. But then I went online, and I viewed the video. Yeah. And I kind of you know, I kind of favored her. Uh, I can't her believe thought. that. He took his... He took he supported his daughter against the city. Well, yeah, well, in other words, he doesn't recall either then, because that was the daughter's statement. She didn't recall. Well, I thought she I, was at a Senate hearing. Why don't Inspector Quinn and I look at the video and yeah, see, sure, see sure. what we think, okay? okay. All right, let's I might take a recall look. this, though. <laughs> There's a point of no return. <laughs> <laughs> That's called the day you had her. Have you, have, have you been sitting in the courtroom? A long time. <laughs> Haven't you heard what I've been uh, addressing when it comes to the 110? Allen's Avenue oh, and yeah, well. Terminal Street. There were two stop lines. In yeah, my, no, the, I know. All right, our, uh, the precedent has been established that if the motorist has passed the first stop line, we dismiss the case. Yeah. Now, what do you want to tell me? I think she's beyond the first line. You just thought that just came to you now? Well, no, I, I saw it. No. <laughs> All right, George has a parking ticket on South Water Street. Stick with the auto yeah, recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easier for you. So uh, there's a parking ticket, I'm sorry? On South Water Street. Where is that? You're it's down, it's down where the, all the kids get together and uh, celebrate. Club, hot club. Over there. Oh, 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 okay. There That's are, probably one there of There are that, a yeah. bunch of watering holes down there that yeah, are very I popular. Know. I know. When I was a kid, I used to go there, but yeah, well, I stay yeah, away from there. So your daughter's following yeah, your know, footsteps. Followed in my <laughs> no wonder why. <laughs> he, didn't, right? he didn't leave the parking spot for her. He should have. Once you have trouble with the kids, you find out they got it from the father, right? <laughs> well, it's going to cost her $30 for that ticket. Okay. Don't leave yet. Now, oh, geez. now we get to you. All right. All right. You have four parking tickets that go back last year. What's the location you're on? North Main, Thayer, Waterman, and Park Row. Yeah, it had to be one of my uh, my other daughter. Oh. Well, you're having trouble with your kids. Well, you know, and I sent them to a good school. I figured that, you know, they would be a little sharper than that, but unfortunately. I'm sure you have wonderful daughters. Yeah. No, they if, if this is the only they problem are. you have yeah. with your daughters, you are a lucky man. I know it. I know it. Count your blessings. You're right. It's $150. Well worth it for having oh. such wonderful daughters. Thank you. Mr. Falcone, you said that you sent your daughters to a good school, so you thought that they would be smarter than that? Smarter than what? They racked up $150 worth of tickets, get you to come down to court and pay for it all. Who's the smart ones in this situation? I believe it's your highly educated daughters, Ronald. College money well spent, my man. Congratulations. John Sapia. You have one Morning. ticket on Pembroke Avenue, parking on the sidewalk, sir. Uh, first off, let me say happy Thanksgiving. I know it's that time no, you're going to stop buttering me up before you start. Yeah, just a little bit. No, I, I mean it. It's my favorite time of year. I love turkey, so. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. First of all, you wish me a happy Thanksgiving. And I says, well, you're trying to butter me up. But that's a, a nice thing to say. So it shows you have a great deal of respect. And then you destroy the whole thing. All right. What did you say? I like turkey. Is that what you, don't you said? Like turkey? Get in front of the mic. So, do you hear that? He likes turkey. That's his reference to Thanksgiving. You're supposed to say, Judge, Thanksgiving is such a wonderful holiday, you know? It I brings give thanks it brings, to my family members. It brings members families and, together. Yep. We all celebrate the greatness of this country. You know, it's a wonderful holiday. It's a family holiday. 
Thanksgiving is up. not about turkey. It's about people coming together, about people showing love and respect and That's unity. I'm headed home right after this to go see you my family. You want to start over again? Yep. All Happy right. Thanksgiving. I can't wait to go home and see my family right after this. Because <laughs> that is where I'm going. I'm, helping, I'm going to help my dad shovel. He just had You're surgery, off. so I have to get back up there. This is a teaching moment. Yes, Your Honor. Just another teaching moment, Inspector Carey. Okay. All right. Now, we can start. See, now you got me in a good mood. Okay. <laughs> It's not about turkey. All right. What do you time. want to tell me about the ticket? So um, I was getting back from class. I play uh, baseball for Johnson and Wales, and I have about 30 minutes in between class and practice. So I had to run back to my house. I live on Pembroke Ave um, with 12 other baseball players. Each kid has a car, so you, as you can imagine, our parking Ir lot's pretty packed. Irresponsible athletes. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> but we have, a, we have a good time. It's a big family there. Big family team, and I think it helps a lot. Helps yeah. the team out, so yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I got, I got back from class. I ran inside. I parked in my driveway. Um, I'm from New Hampshire, so I've never had the problem. All right, all right. Uh, all right. I know, all right. I know. No, I'm going to slap you for a minute. <laughs> Did you take a photograph? No. All right. You were parked in your driveway? I was parked and, in my and driveway. And the back part of your car was my back two tires the were in the... All right. And I, I was going in just to have people move their cars and pull them up. And I came back out, <clears> and he was giving me the ticket. And I, I said, I'm sorry, I'm moving my car. And he said, it's too late, and put the ticket on my car. I understand. <clears throat> what position do you play? I'm a pitcher this year, but last year I was a third baseman. I'm a hitter, too. I'm a DH, so I'm excited. i tell you a story. I just, thought, I just talked to you about family unit. This is a true story. Families being together and all that. I have five children. My oldest son was quite a baseball player. Actually, he was captain of the Harvard baseball team. Wow. And, and my wife and I and my other kids, we went to every game. We never missed a game when he played throughout college, four years. Just like my dad. Or <laughs> in high school, we, ne we never missed a game. And even from Little League, and I remember, you probably played the Little League as well, right? But I remember going to some games, you know, the Little League level and then up. And a lot of the kids, I used to call them the whiplash kids. I felt bad for them. They'd constantly be looking up in the stands to see if their parents were there. And when the parents didn't show up, you know, it, it was heartbreaking yeah. that they didn't support the kids. So it's wonderful that you have that support system. Yeah. I, was, I was the other spectrum. My dad could hear him was whipping my head back. Because my dad, how's a strike? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I, Come on, dad. I had a few of those moments. I had a few <laughs> of those Just means they love you. I shouldn't do this, but I can tell the story. <clears throat> One of my greatest moments was uh, Red Sox had training camp in uh, Fort Myers, yeah. Winter Haven. And then went, went, my, when my son played, it was in Winter Haven, Florida, oh. Red Sox training camp. It's a new facility. And the Harvard right? baseball team would go there, and they'd play. They were playing the Pawtucket Red Sox this day, and they were bringing up a pitcher that they were going to bring up to the majors. And all the Red Sox brass was there, and Ted Williams was there in a golf cart. And Ted Williams, you know, he was very private. You couldn't get near him. And my son came up and hit a home run over the center field fence, right? And I'm screaming, you know, I'm up there screaming. I went to the of Florida. And Ted Williams, who's about 35 feet from me, is in his golf cart. And he yells over and says, is that your kid? And now, all of a sudden, I idolized Williams when I was a kid. I said, that's my son. He said, come here. Well, it was like, you know, Surreal. the savior is, is, is beckoning you. So I went over Unreal. and had this great conversation with Williams, had dinner that night. And for the next three or four days, watch the games with them. It was probably the best week of my life. That's so, amazing. Yeah, it was a great that's story. Amazing. However, that's not going to help you. No. <laughs> the matter is dismissed. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Sapia's case brought back fond memories of my time as a baseball dad. Truly, some of my happiest times were spent watching my children play sports. I'm happy to report that my son, Frank Jr., has himself turned into a baseball dad. His son, my grandson, is a member of the Brown University baseball team, and his dad never misses a game. If you are lucky enough to have children or grandchildren playing sports, do everything in your power to go watch their games. They will never forget it, and neither will you. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.